this is the second MVM video in a row. I must be on an MVM high right now. Anyhow, as we all know, MVM has a lot of gameplay elements that are exclusive to it. Upgrades, robotic enemies, and arguably one of the most important in terms of actually fighting back the Metal Menace, the power-up canteen, or as I like to refer to it, that equipable item that I tend to forget to equip and realize halfway through the wave as I'm running for my life as medic. Yeah, I'm very forgetful. So here's where the actual title of the video comes in. In-game, there are five different canteen upgrades, four of which are available to every class, and one of which is exclusive to Builder Texas Man and his babies. However, there are indications that there was supposed to be a sixth canteen choice. The first thing that makes you think this is on the original MVM update page itself. If we look down at the canteen introduction, it lists off the five power-ups we all know and love? But there's a Polaroid that's been ripped off and is mostly missing. I believe that this used to be a sixth canteen that was removed fairly last minute, or at least removed after they finished the update pages. Now, I can hear the contradictory questions now. Just because the picture's missing doesn't necessarily mean it was a canteen, if anything at all. My rebuttal is to tell you to just look at the way the Polaroids are laid out and the background color for what's left of the picture. It's very clearly organized in a way that leads the eye from canteen to canteen. The eye is led down to the empty slot with the missing picture, so in terms of design, it would make sense that that specific picture would have been another canteen, or at the very least something to do with the canteens. Alone, a missing picture doesn't give us any indication as to what this mysterious 6th canteen could be, but if we turn to the all-powerful resource that is the TF2 wiki, we can find that there are lines for Soldier, Heavy, Engineer, and Medic that have them calling out something that seems really strange. Sapping a robot! Sapping robot! That is a sapped robot! One sap robot! Supposedly these play when a teammate is sapping a robot, an ability exclusive to Spy. But these seem almost like they're being reused, that they were originally for a different scrapped purpose. The wording used in these lines doesn't necessarily seem like they're just calling out that Spy is sapping bots. For instance... Sapping a robot! Sapping a robot! Sapping a robot! Sapping robot! The way these are worded really makes it sound like they're the ones doing the sapping rather than their French teammate. So, the theory here is that there used to be a sixth canteen upgrade that would have acted like a disposable sapper that could be used by every class. Let me hop back to the voice lines real quick. If these voice lines in fact were reused and recorded specifically for calling out when Spy is sapping, then why do only four of the nine classes have voice lines for it considering every single class received new updates for the MVM update? Okay, so I'm going to interrupt myself here because during editing I was made aware of some important info that ties into all of this. Originally I was going to go on a two minute long spiel about voice acting and how not everyone is brought in to record at once and development can change, which in turn can change what lines they needed recorded and all that. But it turns out those four classes are actually the only ones who receive voice lines for the original MVM update. If you look at everybody else, they're straight up missing any exclusive MVM lines that aren't related to two cities. So, the point I was going to make about development changes while they were in the process of bringing in the voice actors is kinda null and void. Whoops. Well, back to the first version of me. So, if they had a sixth power-up canteen ready to go, why did they remove it? Well, a good reason is so that it didn't seem like Spy was irrelevant. Giving the other classes access to what was essentially a sapper would have nullified one of the abilities that made Spy unique. Alternatively, they could have just figured it was a bit redundant to make a disposable sapper, and that it really wouldn't be used due to the existence of Mad Milk, Gerardi, and the Spy's own sappers. As an aside, since we're talking about the sapper in MVM, there's a very curious ad con in the game that hints Spy might have been able to reprogram robots, or maybe that would have been the use of the Sixth Canteen. Now, for those of you who don't know what it is, Adcon is short for Ad Condition. Each Adcon is followed by a numerical number that corresponds to a special effect that is applied to the player or bot when used. There are over 200 of these commands with some that do and don't work. Adcon 43 is the one we're focusing on today. While it no longer works, it acted as a sort of reprogrammed condition. It would swap the player from red to blue and in addition would add sparks to the player's head and add condition 15 along with it, which is the stunned effect. Now this mysterious ad con indicates that it would have been used in MVM for two reasons. 
The first reason is that it wouldn't make sense for this to be a gameplay mechanic in normal PvP. It specifically states that the condition as being reprogrammed, which is not only something used in conjunction to robots, AIs, and programs, but can't really be done to humans, unless you count hypnosis? The point here is that this first point is this couldn't really be a PvP mechanic, because it insinuates that the thing affected by it would possibly switch sides temporarily and work for their enemy's team, and a player would not never do that, and they wouldn't kill their own team just because they were quote-unquote reprogrammed. The second reason is that we know the original team colorations for MVM was switched from what we know today. The robots were red and the mercenaries were blue. There's evidence of this and hints made for MVM up to its announcement. Red versions of all the bots besides the Sentry Buster and the tank exist within the files and can be accessed as alternate skins in programs such as SFM and Gmod. Additionally, there's an unused icon for the, what I like to call, the Punch Bunch Heavies, that show a red variation of the KGB. With this in mind, the Beta MVM team lines up with the AdCon team switch, showing that Spy might have had the ability to temporarily reprogram the bots to work for them. Alternatively, it could have just been the original function of the 6th power-up canteen as opposed to a disposable sapper. So, what do you guys think? Do you think there was supposed to be another canteen power-up, or not? If so, do you agree with this theory, or do you believe it was supposed to be something else? Like always, share your thoughts below, I'd love to know what you guys think. Additionally, I'd like to thank Vice for letting me make a video on this theory, as it was originally his idea. I've linked his Twitch below if you guys were curious and wanted to check out his sorta dead channel. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.